Hello everybody, hello developers and welcome to my channel. Today I have a problem. We need order information about employee to show the start date and finish day when the employee is contracted to, to take a job in a company. Okay, I have this, uh, this table, this employee history, and this is the columns, right? I need three columns in this moment employee uh, depot and date fetch right we filtered my query id of x level as employee and fetch as date right and um, I don't know. Like the okay, I had three, three, three columns. In this case, the number one is when when the employee start to work in the company, and number two is when finish the employee finish your contract, the contract in the company, right? And here I start three three times in this year. In January start and April start again and July start again and finish on February finish on April and finish on September right I, I need we I need only three three rows in this case I need only three three rows with two columns a start date and finish date okay and I need to change in my in my query to obtain that information. Okay, we, I do, mm, I use the instruction lead with HM to obtain the, the next data in the next row, the data in the next row, right? Here is 24. And here's 24, 30, 30, number one, and 30, and number one, okay? Is the next data, okay. We change with lag, obtain the previous data, the data in the previous row, okay? Here, 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 and so on, okay. Um, okay, I will, I use case instruction, case when type people equal one, then fetch and Okay, and here is number two. Okay, change this data here. Okay, this is a start. Here, okay, let's start. Here, and finish. Okay. Well, my information is order in this case. I need order by order by fetch. Okay. I need put this this information or this data in here cell and this data in this cell and this data in this cell right okay mm. to do that delete order by feature information is complete okay the February put information in this cell and April put in this and September put in this okay right I need we need only this information 
right and change this as finish voila okay i have september to oh, sorry uh, january to, to february april to april and uh, july to september right and here this data on September changed to this position. April changed to this position. And uh, property changed to this position. Okay. And I need to filter. Yeah. I can do this. Select asterisk from this. It's not necessary. Data information is equal and we can filter this a start is not null right and, and he select employee and start and finish uh, only three columns that I need right employee start date and finish date okay it's great and we need the the dates between in that dates we can do this with finish let's start right and here is a uh, Plus one. Okay. I have 55 days between these dates and 30 days between these dates and 92 between two dates. Okay, guys, uh, that's all. I hope this information is helpful for your projects or your new applications. It's very important to manage the, the information between dates. Okay. I see you the next time.